Hey guys, Mario Martinez here, CEO of M3 Junior Growth Strategies. Hope you're doing awesome. So in today's how-to video with LinkedIn, I'm going to take you through 15 settings that you will want to change to properly reflect, reflect uh, the right settings for a social seller. There's a few of them that I would say are uh, up to your discretion, but these are settings that I believe are the absolute most important settings for you to change to be able to properly be found, number one, uh, for you to be able to uh, uh, leverage social selling to its fullest while on LinkedIn. Okay, so let's get right into it, and now we're going to go into my LinkedIn profile. So what you see now is my LinkedIn profile. And here as you're looking at this LinkedIn profile, there if you mouse over in the top right hand corner, there is a setting called privacy and settings. You're going to click manage. That having been said, you can see, this is what your uh, page should look like. Uh, it shows account, privacy and communications. There are three tabs that you're go we're going to be uh, playing with in today. So let's first go over uh, the first one. The very first section that I believe a social seller must make sure that they absolutely change and that they address is this item right here, uh, which is in the account settings, just so you know, under basics, I want you to scroll down and I want you to click on name, location, and industry. All right. This is a very important one for a social seller. So here you're going to make sure that your uh, your display name says uh, exactly the way you want it instead of an abbreviated form. Don't choose Mario M. Make sure it's Mario M. Martinez Jr. or whatever your first and last name is, whatever you have in the first name and last name field. This is very important for people to be able to um, reach out to you. They're looking for a person with a name, not with a partial name. So that's the, the first setting you want to check. And if you have an, a premium account, make sure you check premium account for your badge and include me as an open profile, okay? So those are the, the settings that you want to um, uh, check and we are simply gonna click save changes and oh, it took me back to the home page. So let's go back into my manage settings, mouse over your name, click on manage here. And now we're gonna go into uh, the second item, which is making sure that your profile photo is uh, properly represented uh, through um, for search on LinkedIn and as well as for uh, eventually we'll get to search on Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So let's scroll down here under the account tab under basics. And right here under showing profile photos, make sure that it says everyone. There's a lot of social sellers that have made the mistake of hiding their profile photo from everyone. If someone's not connected to you, you want to make sure that they see your face. That's very important from a branding perspective, number one. And number two, if someone's not connected to you like a buyer, you want them to know who you are so they can put a face to the actual name here. So make sure it shows everyone. And very important here, as you scroll down under third-party settings, Make sure that you connect, as you can see right here, that you want to connect your uh, Twitter settings um, right here. This is very important that you have that set up. That's the third item, okay? So now we're going to go into privacy. Uh, and under privacy here, we are going to look at um, edit your public profile. Now, if there is one thing, just one, one thing that you change, this is so important uh, inside of uh, or for a social seller, okay? So we're gonna edit the public profile. Okay, now we're into the edit your public profile section. This is very important. On the far right-hand side, right over here, you have two items. One that says your public profile URL. Guys, I cannot understate the importance of editing this uh, URL right here. This is your personal URL for your LinkedIn page, okay? Make sure, unless you're gonna take the time to specifically do branding like we have done for M3 Junior, make sure that you have this set as your personal name. Just simply click the pencil mark and change it. Don't have a string of numbers. You will not be indexed. Make sure that you change it to your personal name. Uh, first name, last name. If you don't have first name, last name available because someone else has it, first name, middle initial, last name is a great suggestion. Or if you, at worst case scenario, is use a number string, okay? Uh, so don't forget to save that. 
And now we're going to go down to the most important section of, uh, uh, of profile settings for a social seller. You want to make sure that you make my public profile visible to everyone. This is the only way, guys, the only way that Google, Yahoo, and Bing will search index your particular profile. So go through and check all the boxes here uh, and uh, make sure that you click save at the bottom. Now, many times people ask me, should I um, display my past positions? For me, it is not necessary. As a business owner, I don't need to display past positions to um, anybody that is wanting to connect with me. I just want them to. Uh, I just want them to see what I'm doing currently today. But for you, it may be important because maybe you're in the same line of business and you want to make sure that people who are looking at your profile can see that you have experience in a particular industry. So uh, on the other hand, maybe you worked for a competitor and you don't want uh, the past positions to actually be indexed by Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Okay, no problem. Just deselect that. So you make the choice. That's your call, past positions or not. Um, based upon that criteria I just gave you. But make sure, please, every other one of these boxes is checked. And oh, by the way, if you ever add on a card on your LinkedIn profile, uh, make sure you come back into this setting to, to, to check that that it, uh, is being indexed by Google, Yahoo, 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 sorry, and Bing. All right, so we are going to um, go back a little bit here. So give me one second, and we're going to go back to the page that we were just on. Okay, so now we're back to uh, the, the um, uh, settings page under the privacy tab. We just completed edit your public profile. And now I want to show you one more area here. This one is totally up to you. Who can see your connections? Now, uh, what I recommend for all social sellers is that you allow your connections to see your connections. Now, what this will also do is it'll allow them to see who you've also newly connected to within the last 30 day period. So if you have competitors inside of your network and you don't want them to see who you're connecting to in terms of prospects, well, then you're gonna to wanna to change this to say only you. And that's simply put that you can, you can put that there. Now, I, I recommend that you open it up to your connections. Um, if you need to clean out um, competitors, certainly you can clean them out. Um, also too, keep in mind, most of your competitors don't know this particular setting. So you'll be able to actually mine their, uh, uh, who they've newly connected with um, at the bottom of their, their actual LinkedIn profile page. So you decide, but uh, I recommend um, leave it open to your connections to see so that you can create value to your customers or buyers and hopefully uh, allow, your, uh, allow them to be introduced to other people when necessary. Um, okay. So now we're gonna to go to um, the next one of uh, viewers of this profile also viewed. You can see right here, it says no. Change it to no. Here's why. Maybe you're an account executive with company ABC. What you don't want LinkedIn do, to do is show other account executives for competitor ABC. So I recommend that you change that to no. That's a good change for a social seller. And then we're gonna go into sharing profile edits right here. Make sure that you have this turned on to yes. Uh, there's also a little green button on your main profile page up in the bottom, uh, the far right hand side of the column on your main profile page that you can turn that off and on. But generally speaking, things that you add to your profile, you're going to want to make sure that uh, individuals can actually um, see your um, changes, a new multimedia, new headlines, etc. All right. So let's go ahead and go on into our eighth one. Um, and that is under um, profile viewing options. And did I miss that one? Oh, right here. Uh, this is a very important one. So click on profile viewing options and you wanna make sure uh, that you have um, the full view of your profile being showcased. So I selected um, the, uh, this option and here's what popped up. Uh, select what others see when they view your profile. Make sure that the, the first one is checked. Show your picture, show your name, and show your headline. Very important for a social seller. All right, moving right along, uh, we're going to go to the um, this one right here, which is number nine. 
notify connections when you're in the news. Now, most of you may not be in the news, but if you're ever quoted, uh, you want them to get an alert um, when uh, you are um, uh, uh, in the news, uh, in a, mentioned in an article or a blog post, um, and this is a very good one to be able to, to change to the answer of yes. All right, and as we keep scrolling down, data privacy and advertising. Suggesting you as a connection based on your email address. You want to change this one to everyone, and the next one, suggesting you as a connection based upon your, your phone number, you want to change that to everyone too. Let's just presume that a prospect adds you to their, uh, to their um, address book on Gmail or on Outlook. Well, if they have it synchronized with LinkedIn, it's going to suggest to them uh, someone that they may know. And that's going to be very important for them to be able to create outreach to you and actually um, send you a connection request. So I think that's a valuable component. All right, last tab under communications. Here under communications, we're going to click on um, this communications tabs right here. And we are going to change this setting on who can send you invitations. I recommend for a social seller that you have this listed as everyone. This is important because if a prospect wants to send you a connection request because they find value in maybe your LinkedIn optimized profile done by my team, um, then this is a great one to be able to allow anybody to send you a connection request. People ask me, well, I don't want to get a connection request from everybody. It will look, here's the reality. You have the ability to accept or deny connection requests as they come through. So get them all and then filter through based upon who would add value to your network and or who you might be able to sell to. Uh, and then messages from members. Let us know what types of uh, member messages you prefer to receive. Make sure you set that to open profile. If a buyer wants to communicate with you, don't make them send an in-mail. Allow yourself to have an open profile. Last but not least, 14 and 15 under groups. Group invitations. Uh, I have personally been invited by um, prospective buyers to join their groups that they may administer or that they're a part of. Now this doesn't happen often, but I do recommend that under groups, group invitations and group notifications that you change this to yes and yes. Uh, so again, group invitations and group notifications, change it to yes and yes. This way it allows you to be able to receive um, uh, um, uh, a invitation to join a group and um, uh, whether or not you receive those notifications um, from others. So those are my top 15 social selling tips on your LinkedIn profile settings. This was quite of a long video, but hopefully you'll have a chance to rewind and go through each one of these now on your profile. So visit us at m3jr.com. That's www.m3jr.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our blog and also look us up on YouTube, our YouTube channel, and uh, type in M3 Junior Growth Strategies and subscribe to our YouTube channels for short videos that we usually send out at least once or twice a week. If you have any questions, reach out to us through m3jr.com. Thanks for joining Mario Martinez with M3 Junior Growth Strategies, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.